It's your team, Mr. Kwon. It's your girl, Mr. G. And it's your boy, Kwon. It's together one unstoppable. And unbreakable. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back, y'all. So in today's video, Kwon and I are going to be reacting to your guys' deepest and darkest secrets. Now, I just want to say that I low-key feel honored that out of everyone you decide to share a secret with, it's Kwon and I. <laughs> yeah, but don't worry. You guys' secrets are safe with us. Mm -hmm. No names will be revealed. And also, Rissa and I are going to try our hardest not to judge anyone because I'm pretty sure we've all done things that we're not very proud of. Exactly. So we did have you guys send your deepest and darkest secrets to us on IG. So make sure you guys are following us both on Instagram right now yep, yep. so that you guys could be a part of videos like this. But I think that we're going to hop right into the video because I'm trying to get through as many secrets as we can today. Yeah, this should be interesting. All right, I'm ready. Are you excited? Yeah, let's get into it. Okay. I follow my boyfriend on fake accounts and act like other females. <laughs> oh my God. We out here catfishing. Oh. That's what we're doing now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, sis. You're not alone. I know a lot of women actually do this. A lot of women do that. But I just feel like <laughs> if you're doing this, clearly like- you don't like, trust each other. Yeah, something's not right there because if you feel like you have to do that, you're exactly. obviously doing that to see if he's gonna reply to these fake accounts. Right. I feel like That's anybody in a relationship making a catfish account to stalk their partner, like there's trust issues in your relationship. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So maybe y'all need to fix that or just not be together. Yeah, I just feel like having to do all that is just way too much effort. It's a lot of energy. Energy, it's stressful. And crazy. we in 2022. By now you should know what a fake account is. So like, <laughs> some can't be that clueless. You know what I'm saying? Like no. a fake account is mad obvious to hey, see. Hey, there are people out there that will work day and night to make that account look real they that will put true. months into it make sure they have followers lots of posts so and one thing that i did hear like i'm i'm laying out the secret women there's a lot of women that have fake accounts and like it's like a friend group that runs that fake account <gasps> You spilling the tea, yeah. man. That is It'd be true. a whole friend group using the same fake account to stalk their boyfriends. We actually have a friend that does that with her friends. Like they yeah. all share one fake account to like stalk their boyfriends. I just feel like that's so childish. And if you have to do all that, like <laughs> I said, like that's just too much. That is crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. I claimed UE under my high school teacher's name. Nah, that's OD, bro. UE like that's unemployment? That's OD, yes, unemployment. Nah. <laughs> What did he do? Did he fail you? Like, he gave you a 64 on your exam or something? Like, no, I need to know how what? he got his teacher's information to be able to do that. Like, what? How did, how? <laughs> That's foul. Like, he's, he's gonna, gonna be sick. Yo, we just said the same when thing. When unemployment start billing him to his house, oh like, God. he's gonna be super sick. No, nah, that's foul. Don't do stuff like that, guys, because that's karma. Like, you can't be doing that. But I'm not gonna lie, I did have this high school teacher that I really, really didn't like. Like, we all had that one high school teacher that was just wild, annoying, that didn't matter. I have foul stuff to that us, you would so claim you maybe he just name? wanted to get revenge on them. Nah, don't probably do that. Probably failed them, <laughs> sent them to summer school. <laughs> he had plans for the summer to hang out with his friends. You know them late nights when you're in high school and like it's summertime now and like Bam. you be making plans. You want to go no. chill with your friends, but you stuck going to summer school the next no. morning. Like no, I, I can't violent. relate. I never had summer school. Well, you never had. But I'm saying I, I could relate. You know okay. what I'm saying? I feel you, bro. Nah, bro. Like, nah. you eat is foul. Like, that's gonna OD. Be sick. That's OD. <laughs> I never had intercourse, but I act like a big whore when people are talking about sex related issues. Why a big whore? What does that mean though? Yo, what? That means she be talking crazy, like super spicy, like she gets crazy, but. Oh, so, okay. So I kind of feel for this person because I feel like- Yeah, she probably to, felt left out. Maybe they're trying to portray to be something that they're not because they feel yeah. like an outcast. But honestly, I just want to say you're so much better off just being yourself in this world because that'll take you much further. And honestly, like being, Intimate with a whole bunch of people really is not the wave. Yeah, okay, so honestly, don't try so and fit in. Don't try and fit in with that friend group. Obviously, you're different from them. You and know what I'm saying? Fine. Like, yeah. they probably talk about what they do, which isn't wrong. Mm -hmm. But if you ain't doing what they doing, if you ain't on what they on, like, you ain't gotta pretend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, there's nothing wrong with that. And you ain't gotta act like a big <laughs> Like, that's. <laughs> Extreme. That sounds crazy, yeah. <laughs> I, I get you trying to like act as if like you do be Doing having intercourse stuff. too, yeah. but like you ain't gotta act like a big whore. No. And if your friends are talking like big whores, then maybe you need to find some new friends. <laughs> yeah. so. My sneaky link is my best friend boyfriend and don't nobody know. What? Whoa, that's spicy. Why is your sneaky link your best friend's boyfriend? Dang, what do your best friend do to you? But she's your best friend. Yeah. Why her boyfriend? I'm saying, like, why would you betray your best friend like that? Like, what does she do? You must know how to fight. You gotta know how to fight. <laughs> you have to know how to fight because yeah. it's like, bro, you messing with your best friend's boyfriend? Because once she find out, link, though, she's definitely gonna wanna pop on She you, gonna like, wanna throw hands. That's crazy. So you gotta know how to fight. Yeah. She know how to fight. But like, I don't understand why, like, people do this. 
out of everyone you could sleep with, why are you gonna sleep with your best friend's boyfriend? Maybe like, the best friend? friend slept with somebody that she used to mess with, or her ex-boyfriend. I don't know, that's just We messy. don't know the backstory, but yeah. that is kind of crazy, and if she does find out, hopefully you know how to defend yourself, because she gonna wanna throw bows. Yeah. <laughs> she gonna wanna throw the hands. That's horrible, oh my gosh. I used to have a sugar daddy back in high school while dating my ex. What? Wait, a sugar daddy in high school? That means that so, was an older man. Yeah, not cool. See? Oh, man. There's so many predators out so there nowadays. So many sickos out there. That just literally makes my stomach turn because this clearly was a person that was preying it. on this young girl. You know? That's just a crazy situation. I don't understand what these older men will want with a high schooler. You know what I'm saying? They're like, predators. Yo, y'all gotta be careful out there. And it's like, a sugar daddy, they're doing that because they want some sugar. So hopefully, I'm hoping that you didn't have to give them no sugar. But like, you know, why did you decide to like have a sugar daddy? Well, she was you young. So clearly, he probably was giving her, maybe he was giving her money. Maybe he was getting her a lot of designer. Oh, you know, true. giving her things that she probably wanted. But as the adult, being the sugar daddy, he knows better. So yeah, that's it. No, that's it. And you were young, so like that's kind of like manipulation. You're right. You know, it's like yeah. giving candy to a baby. So mm -hmm. that's a crazy situation. Crazy. And I know that happens a lot, that's though. Sick. Situations like this happen a lot, so I know you're not alone out there. That's yeah. crazy, though. I cheated on my ex with four other guys, and he still doesn't know. Oh my gosh! Four other guys? Not one. <laughs> Not two, not three, but four other guys. Nah, that's OD. What did he do? Damn. What did he right. do? Right, I need to know, like, why? Did he cheat on you with four other girls or something? Like, four though? I like, mean, why like, four? Cheating. <laughs> cheating. Four is crazy. Nah, like, but four. cheating is bad in itself, but you gonna do it with four and if you Maybe they were Damn. just in a toxic relationship and they were just cheating on each other. Be. If that's the case, just don't be together. Yeah. Like, I definitely don't condone cheating, you know? Yeah, that's crazy. That's OD. Four is four like times? crazy. Four different four? people? Nah, you wanted to get him back. He, you wanted he to hurt him really bad. He right. had to do something, but like, like Rissa said, just don't be in a relationship. If yeah. you feel like you gotta cheat, don't be in a relationship. Facts. My husband isn't satisfying me. Oh, man. That's deep, babe. That's Sheesh. deep. This is actually like an issue that I believe that a lot of people go through in their relationships. And I just want to say that the key when it comes to like, being intimate is communication. You have to communicate to your partner what your likes and dislikes are. But the are. thing is, she said my husband. So this is not just a relationship. This is a yeah, marriage. They're married. they're married. And it sucks that he's not satisfying you. So like Rissa said, you have to communicate. You got to say mm -hmm. something. You got to speak up so that y'all can figure something out. You guys can learn each other. Y'all can't just up. break up. Y'all in a marriage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I would say don't give up because a lot of people, they'll just be like, oh, my partner isn't satisfying me. But did you tell your partner what you like yeah, and what you, you gotta, don't like? Yeah, you got to say something. You it's kind of messed up not telling him and he doesn't know and he mm -hmm. thinks that he's actually satisfying you when he's yeah. not really putting in work yeah like, you gotta say something mm -hmm. you know that's that's the right thing to do i agree i dated this guy for years he went to mexico and came back with a so-called cousin <laughs> what wait what did i read that right she said yeah he went to mexico came back so clearly <laughs> i just want to say that that's is, not his cousin yeah that's, that's not, not his cousin. cousin and i wonder like was it a girl cousin or a male cousin. Yeah, well, she said. And how long was he in Mexico for? Yeah, I got a lot I of I got questions. so many questions <laughs> to ask you, like. That's interesting. So it sounds like he went over to Mexico. Yeah. May have for stayed some there time, for a while. And came, he came back, back with a cousin. With a cousin. No, that ain't his cousin. Now, I'm yeah. pretty sure it's a girl, and he's like, yo, this is my cousin. Like, Clearly, she has her suspicions because she's saying so called. So you know what's up. Yeah. That's You know that fishy. ain't his cousin. Right. You know that ain't his cousin, so. You gotta deal with that. You gotta yeah, deal with that. You gotta, yeah, have that combo. I take pictures of every person I've slept with. I gotta keep receipts. What? You out here snapping pictures of everybody that you sleep with? I feel it, but like, I wanna know, like, do they know you're taking the pictures? Word. It sounds like this person just wants to, you know, keep track of who she's been with. But like, with. how are you doing that? Like, after y'all get done, you like, snapping a picture? Like, she's sneakily doing like, it? Like, sneakily doing it? Or you like, yo, hey, post for this picture. Boom. Right. Like, I don't know. <laughs> that, that's kind of, I mean, I understand you're keeping up with who you sleep with, but like, taking a picture of every single one of them is like, that's kind of different. I never heard of that. We neither. I know people will like, hey. keep track in their head or like, keep yeah. a little note. But taking who, pictures, uh, yeah, that, that I, I is never different. heard of that one. That is different. Different. I thought about doing OnlyFans with a stranger during a money crisis. That's tough. Uh, doing OnlyFans, I mean, OnlyFans, nothing wrong with OnlyFans. Right. 
with a stranger now. Yeah. It depends. What were y'all planning on doing? That's where I'm like a little weary because it's like it depends yeah. what y'all were doing. Because I just feel like meeting up with strangers nowadays, especially dangerous. with money related, is very dangerous. dangerous. You know, so be careful if you want to do stuff like that. But nobody's judging you off of doing OnlyFans. But what made you consider a stranger? Could have did. Only fans with somebody that you knew. Or alone. Yeah, alone. Yeah. Or why a stranger? Hmm. Mm. I mean, it must be more to it. Yeah. But hey, we understand because when you're in a money crisis, I mean, like, we just recently had a pandemic and everything. Yeah. A lot of people were out of work. So we kind of right. understand. And when you're in need of money, you're pretty much willing to mm -hmm. figure out a way to make money. So right. you gotta we get it. Consider just your do resources. it alone, not with strangers. Right. That's a little scary. <laughs> Me and my cousin got drunk and we smashed. What in the incest? No comment. Your cousin? No comment. Why your <laughs> Did you know it was your cousin? Did you know it was your cousin? If y'all knew y'all was cousins, y'all just, just nasty. Yeah, that's not right. I'm sorry. That's just not right. <laughs> that's just that's just not right. Why that's your it. cousin though? What? No comment. Can't oh, relate. Man. I don't know. That's, yeah, no comment. <laughs> no, no comment. No comment. <laughs> Your secret's safe with us, though. Right. I think I'm suicidal, but I can't tell anyone because I'm their solid rock right now. Oh. Damn, that's deep. That is very deep. That's deep right there. So I can't relate to being suicidal or like self-harm or anything like that, but I can relate to when you feel like you always have to be that yeah. rock for everybody around you and everyone's always like dropping all their issues on you and you always have to be there, but you have While to put yourself- your own thing. Yeah, like we all go through stuff, but you do have to put yourself first because I feel like you can't help others unless you're mentally okay. So I just want to say, definitely get some help. Yep. You know, there's that's a lot exactly of ways what I was gonna to say. get help out there. Yeah, yeah, like right now, I know that there's probably people that's in need of your help and they need you, but mm -hmm. nobody needs you more than you, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, go get some help, mm -hmm. go take care of your mental health and make sure that you're in a better space before you think about taking care of anyone or helping anyone out. You gotta help yourself yeah. first. So. I know there's a lot of like hotlines out there you could call and stuff, yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely. And we're gonna pray for you. We hope that yeah. you overcome this and that you take care of your mental health and that hopefully one day that you're not having any more suicide thoughts because we would hate to just know that anyone in this world, not just the fact that you're a supporter of ours, but anyone in this world is going to take their life or possibly will take their life. You know, yeah. we want you to get better. So thank you for sharing that with us and we hope that our words help and we hope that you get help. Yeah, and if no one has told you in a while, we love you. Yeah, we love you and we appreciate you. I had sex with my boyfriend's brother. Yo. Oh. Why man. his brother? Dang. His brother? His brother though, like. I don't really know what to say nah, about that. That's, that's just different. Cause I'm just thinking about it like, if my girl, I'm not talking about you. Mm. Cause you're, you're my wife. I look at you as my wife. Yeah. Now, if my <laughs> girl, girlfriend slept with my brother, like I will be sick. Like I know that would hurt. That would hurt that because hurt it's like a double more. whammy. It's like, dang, my you know girl did that, like, but then my brother did yeah, that. Yeah, like you, you know? mad at both of them, and it's yeah. just like, why the brother though? Like again, what did I, he do to you? Yeah, I wonder why you decided to do that to your boyfriend, but also I wonder who pursued who. Like, does she pursue the brother, or was the brother? On I feel trifling? like that doesn't even really matter because, like, at the end of the day, they both decided to oh yeah absolutely. do something with one another, which is just yeah. foul yeah. to the boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? But like, I'm I'm gonna put y'all on. I feel like sometimes men do things to like test you oh who knows like if immature boys but do that who knows if he sicked his brother on his girl to see if you'll be down and, you fell. and now you fell yeah. for it and you think he don't know but he knows because like because listen that's a sticky situation i've heard of situations like that especially being in college and stuff like guys will do stuff like that like yo holla at her yep. see if she she'll fall for it because yep. guys are immature so because i'm gonna admit this i'm gonna admit it i'm gonna admit it what? i'm not like that no more but i have done this in the past like I have sick one of my friends on like the girl I was talking to just to, just to see uh -huh. just to see what type of time she was on you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. just to see if she'll talk to him or entertain him to make sure like I she's the right one for me and there was a lot of times there's a lot of times the girls would entertain my friends you well know what I'm we so, ain't judging you sex because we ain't judging you though we're not judging worse, okay? you you know what I'm saying maybe there's a reason behind why you did mm -hmm. that or, maybe you just more into his brother right, maybe, I'm not saying. you could have been talking to his brother before you was talking to him we don't know the situation so yeah, like exactly. we're not gonna judge you but that is kind of crazy and yeah I'm gonna pray for him if he knows or if he finds out clearly he doesn't know because she put yeah. the sh emoji we ain't gonna tell him though we ain't, we ain't gonna, gonna tell him, him. <laughs> I met my husband through a threesome we tell people we met through mutual friends. Ah! <laughs> Technically, I did though. I 
I like that though. That's kind of like interesting. I never heard that before. That's different. So it's a so wife a and a husband, and they said they met through a threesome. That's crazy. Wow. That's crazy. Well, That's that different. just lets people know like there's a possibility that you can find the person that you're going to be with through a threesome. <laughs> right. Many different but, ways. But you can find love in a club. You no, can find love through a threesome. They don't tell people they met during a threesome. Mutual, well, <laughs> they say people mutual not gonna go into depth. Oh, how did you meet through this mutual? Uh, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But yeah, exactly. I mean, that that's, is different. I've that's, never that's heard a that. Crazy way of like getting in a relationship through a threesome. I can think. Y'all must have had like crazy connection, <laughs> attraction. Something. Yeah, something. That threesome had to be amazing. <laughs> okay. Period. Yeah. Good for y'all. My ex wants to hook up with me one night stand ish, and both of us are in serious relationships. What? Wait, hold Wait. on, hold on. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Hold on. Y'all both are in serious relationships, but y'all are communicating. And your ex is talking about having a one night stand. So they're both talking to their exes. But y'all in serious relationships. Nah, this is toxic. I'm sorry. Super toxic. Okay, okay, okay. Like we said, we're not going to judge anyone. But we are going to say this. If you're in a serious relationship, since you said that you guys are in serious relationships, if you feel like you're in a serious relationship right now, please don't ruin that for like a few hours yeah. of pleasure. Or like don't a fun do time. It, please. It's not worth it. It's definitely not worth it because yeah. you're going to regret it and y'all both are gonna regret it. Mm -hmm. And clearly, y'all not together for a reason. Right, so, if someone's an ex, just leave it in the past. They're ex for a reason. Leave it in the past, just be happy, move on to bigger and better things, Thank please. You. Exactly, great advice. I smashed a bottle on a guy's head and went to jail for two days without my parents knowing. <laughs> what? How did you do that? Wait, time out, this Dang. girl is savage. Like, you're savage, so time out. You smashed the bottle over a dude's head. Hopefully he deserved it. <laughs> you went to jail for two days and call your parents and you was Gucci? How? Because I feel like if I ever got what? locked up, first of all, I know jail is not for me, right? If I ever got locked up, like the first person I'm calling besides Quan is definitely my mom. Mommy. Yeah, I'm crying to my mom. Like, mom, I got locked I know, up. Du I know dudes that can't do two days in jail without calling their parents. Like, yeah, how they'll be crying, that? mommy, daddy, you know what I'm saying? So like, you tough, you tough. <laughs> I give it to you, tough. Yeah, that's wild. You tough. Dang. That's savage, right? There. My ex-boyfriend cheated on me with men and women and still oh. won't admit it. Dang, wow. that one is deep. I'm kind of feeling for your ex-boyfriend because clearly... Clearly in a closet. Yeah, he, he, he's not comfortable enough to come out with his sexuality, so he's probably not very comfortable in his own skin. But that also has to be crazy for you finding that out. Like, I wonder how that felt. Yeah, that's you know? tough. That's that's tough. That is a tough situation. Well, I mean, he is your ex now, so like, yeah. I mean, eventually, what's done in the dark will come to light. And yeah. Eventually, he's gonna have to live his own truth and let it be known. Right. What he is, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I mean, I know that's that very tough, tough on yeah. you, like finding that out. And yeah, that's that's just crazy. Yeah. I don't really have much to say on yeah, that. that. That's that just a that's a crazy situation. situation. That is. My sister lied about who her baby daddy was, so I told her baby dad he wasn't the father. Now, why would you do that? Dang. Why would you snitch on your sister like your Not blood, the though? Why? You snitched on your sister, though? Nah, that's crazy. Come on. That's crazy. You can't do that. I understand, you can't do that. like, it probably was hard knowing that secret, but. You should have left it to your sister to tell him. That's what I would have done. I would have been like, all right, sis, like, what you're doing right now is foul. Like, yeah. you need to tell that man he is not the daddy. Like, you need to do that. You, you know don't what I'm rat on your sister, though. That's, that's yeah. crazy. It's messed up what she did, but you don't rat on your sister. Like, that's yeah. against the family. I would have just don't do that. influenced her to do the right thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's what I would have did personally, but hey, you probably had your reasons why yeah. you did that. I mean, that's <laughs> tough. That's crazy. Yeah. My dad is cheating on my stepmom with my mom, and I know. <laughs> What? Her dad's cheating, cheating on her, on her stepmom, stepmom with her mom. mom. Hmm. Damn. I wonder how <laughs> she feels about that because, like, at the end of the day, that's her mom, and like her mom and her dad is still messing with each other. So oh, yeah. maybe in a sense, that is different. It's a good feeling, but at the same time, her dad is cheating, which isn't good. How would you feel? I honestly, I don't know how I would feel. Honestly, <laughs> I would probably be happy that my parents are mingling. Mingling. Really? But I feel like the dad should leave the stepmom. Just yeah, because cheating now. hurts people. Like, don't yeah. cheat, you know? And Jeans that, tough. I don't know. I feel like you should just stay out of grown folks' business. They're going to do yeah. what they're doing, but that is Mind tough knowing that, you know? <laughs> yeah, that is. That's crazy. That's crazy. I am married, but I'm in love with someone else. <gasps> wow. Oh. All right, see? This is why you don't get married unless you feel as if 
the person that you're with, you're gonna be with for the rest of your life. You can't go get married to someone and you're in love with someone else. Like you just obviously don't do that. you still like have feelings for that person, like you mm -hmm. said, but you're probably gonna end up hurting your partner, like yeah, you know. Bad. So I would say that you probably need to communicate with your partner about that because you don't want to end up like stepping out of your relationship or cheating or something like that, you know? Because yeah. once that's feelings not cool. are involved, right? Like, that's just something that you can't help, you can't control, you know? Yeah. So you gotta share that with your partner, let her know, and go from there. I mean, that's tough. You just don't get married if you're in love with someone else. Yeah, because like, you're most likely you got feelings up, for someone else. You're hurting right? yourself, and then you're also gonna probably hurt yeah. your partner. You know, it's kind of selfish a little hurt bit. Hurt people, hurt people. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I know you guys heard that before, so mm -hmm. yeah, that's tough. Yeah. I did I sh myself in front of my boyfriend and he ain't even know. <laughs> nah, that reminds me of the prank I just went on you. That's wild dirt. Like, people do that in real life? I guess so. People really she out here sh themselves. babe. You don't know the story. Maybe something happened. Maybe it was like a little skin mark. You don't know. That's still gutsy. I'm, I'm, I'm having flashbacks. I'm still traumatized by that. That prank was OD. So like, Damn. how he didn't know though? He good thing know. he didn't know. Good thing he didn't know because yeah. I'm pretty sure he would have been like turned completely off. turned off. Like, uh, you guys saw you Kwame there. Shit on yourself. You got the doodle butt. <laughs> nah, it's all right, sis. Yeah, it happens. Does it? <laughs> I took my mom car one day without her knowing, and I had a smoke session with my friends. In your mom's V. Damn, how can That's you know? wild crazy. Wouldn't the car have came back smelling? No. No? No. These smokers, these smokers, I know a lot of smokers, they're really good at getting rid of the smell. Like They probably really? roll down the windows afterwards, put mad car air freshener in there. <laughs> they made sure the car smelled new. You would have hey. thought that they probably brought the car to the car wash. First of all, I hope that you had a license if you're stealing your mom's car to drive because yeah. that's dangerous. That is wild. Yeah. But that sounds like some wild teenager stuff. Yeah. That teenagers would do. It's not that bad. I know a lot of kids yeah. have probably done this. My sneaky link doesn't know why I stopped talking to him, but it was because of his hairy legs. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> Dang. What? So this person must have been super turned off by Boy, his had legs. Boy, to be Chewbacca or something. Yeah, super hairy. Hairy legs made you stop talking to him? Like, <laughs> all of us as men have hairy legs. His legs had hey, to be like crazy listen, hairy. as a woman, I got hairy legs. <laughs> That's what I'm That's saying. It's, it's more likely for a man to be turned off by a girl with hairy legs yeah. than a girl being turned off by a man with hairy so legs. So he must so. have been super hairy. Or maybe yeah. this person just really doesn't like hair. <laughs> it Could must be. be that. That's funny though. Could be. I take $100 from my fiance every week. Like, you steal it from your fiance? <laughs> like, I'm lost. I'm assuming if, if they're like sharing a secret, most likely he doesn't know. So this uh, person's probably stealing from their whoa. fiance. Hmm. $100, depending on how much she's making, that could be a lot of money that she's taking from him. That could make or break a person, but like, yeah. why are you stealing? Maybe she why are you can't stealing? ask. Maybe she can't ask. Then that's not good. And what you doing together. with the $100? Yeah, what are you doing with the $100? <laughs> that's a good question. Because like, if you're stealing it from him, clearly he doesn't know you're taking it, and clearly he wouldn't know what you're spending it on. So yeah. why do you feel like you have to steal $100? Word. I wonder. I, I, I want to know. I would hope that he wouldn't tell you no if you ask him. But what do you need a hundred dollars for every week from your fiance? <laughs> that's four hundred like, a month. If you think that's a lot of money, babe. I mean, it depends. Like, are you going to get your hair and your nails done every week? And if so, you should be able to ask him. And if he has it, he has the choice to give it to you. But right. Like, you stealing, stealing from your okay, partner? Man. Yeah, stealing is you know. Especially, this sounds like this is his hard-earned money. Like, damn. Yeah, I think you should stop doing that, especially <laughs> yeah. if you taking like half of what he's making or a quarter. Yeah. Any anything from what he's making is just not right. You yeah. know, you shouldn't steal from your partner. That's crazy. I took out a 5K loan to send to a trader to flip for me, and I didn't receive a dime back <laughs> with a crying face. Dang, you got got. Bro, you got scammed. You uh, got scammed. That's Yo, horrible. you know what's crazy? Us as influencers, people dead be DMing us. The scammers still be DMing us, sending us those stupid messages to the links about, oh, and all this stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna, you know, send me this and I'll flip it. Send me five hundred dollars and I'll flip it to five hundred k. Come on, bro. You gotta be <laughs> no realistic. Scams, Does it man. sound realistic to you? That sucks though, cause they Damn. took out a whole loan expecting to get back double what they took out. That's a big L, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That's that's tough. Yeah, that's tough. Well, next time you gotta be smarter than that, you know. Yeah. I wish my husband was taller, but I don't know how to tell him. <laughs> Just tell him. <laughs> Okay, I understand why this person may not tell their husband because Damn. that is like a little prideful thing for men. Like, but why do you wish he was taller? I don't get it. 
I don't know. <laughs> Who knows why? But clearly she wants him taller. Damn. See, I, I, I feel but bad. But just tell him. I feel bad because it's like, things like that make people insecure. Damn, he don't even know that his girl <laughs> wish he was taller. Like, yeah. that's um, tough. I just get him some Tim's. Get him some Tim's. <laughs> Rissa got me these Louis Vuitton loafers and they got a platform. They got a platform. They make me like two inches taller. So yeah. there's ways to go about it, you know, I guess. She probably don't want to hurt his feelings. I understand, but I would just tell him. Sorry, babe. I would have to tell you him. Got, you got to tell him. Yeah. I have a masturbation addiction. Damn, homie. Ooh. Okay. That's tough because there are a lot of men that suffer from this addiction. And my advice would be you have to, you have to, you have to. Stay away from websites. Don't look at it. You gotta practice self-discipline. Like you gotta discipline yourself where you're feeling aroused at the time, but you gotta do something to take your mind off of it and mm -hmm. try and get your mind away from that because it's not healthy and people have passed away from that addiction. You know that, right? What, really? There was someone that did that, Too I think much? like, yeah, like 30 times in one day and had a heart attack. <gasps> Oh my gosh, yeah. I never knew that. But I know that if anything is addicting, that means you're doing it too much. Too much. Yeah. So clearly this person realized that they have an issue. So I would definitely, But I that's know. good though. It's that good that you, you acknowledge You it. acknowledge yeah. that you have the issue and now it's time to work on it. I would just say practice doing other things that keep your mind off of it. Yeah, get just, active. Yeah, get a different uh, hobby, hobby, like find a hobby or something. And then, yeah. you know, but. Definitely. Okay, last one. I have a boxer brief fetish. Loose boxers would definitely be a deal breaker. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, nah, that's kind of funny though. I Wait, never so heard of that. she doesn't like when a guy wears loose boxes. Yeah, so like the baggier boxers, no. The tight ones, the briefs, yes. That's bad funny. <laughs> I don't understand what, where she's going with that because I feel like there is something like appealing when your guy has like his boxer briefs Wait, so on. tell me, you be turned off when I wear baggy boxes? No, not me personally. sometimes like- No, but you don't even like a them guy, too baggy. That, but as a guy, like sometimes, I want to wear the box of briefs and sometimes I want to get some air, you know what I'm saying? So you I'll wear the loose. Feeling. Yeah, I want to free ball sometimes. So like I'll wear looser boxes. Yeah. I like to just wear both, but damn. She said a deal breaker though. Like if he deal, got like, loose she's boxes. She's not messing with him. If he has loose boxes on, it's done. Like, Complete turn off. That's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> How does that turn? I don't, I don't know. That. I, that's kind of like interesting though. Like, that's funny. That's funny. But it kind of could be like how like us as guys feel like if a girl got on some granny panties. Oh, like some compared loose. Compared to, Co yeah, you know, that's true. like a thong or some nice lingerie. Something it could be like that, you yeah. know, because it's kind of turn off when a girl with baggy panties. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I, I, maybe it's the same thing. Maybe. You know? But yeah, that was us reacting to your guys' deepest and darkest secrets. Wow. This was definitely interesting. interesting. Like, Very interesting. Yeah. Like yeah. we said before, your guys' secrets are definitely safe with us. Course, Thank you guys for sharing. Yeah, I can trust us. Yeah, I love <laughs> that you guys were comfortable enough to share. Mm -hmm. And yeah, make sure you guys follow us on IG because we're definitely going to do a lot more videos where you guys are like interacting with us. And also, if you enjoyed this video, if you guys get this video, to 50k likes 50k likes right that's fine if you guys get this video to 50k likes we'll do a part two yes of this video and also react to more of you guys deepest darkest secrets again so yes. we hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys in the next lit video love y'all love you guys peace